Tech censorship has not only been impacting conservatives in the political world, but it has made its way into the cultural realm as well. Just a couple weeks ago, when The Blue Purge started, two conservative rap hip-hop artists found that their new hit song, The Patriot, was removed from Spotify and all other digital streaming services without explanation. After re-uploading the song through another distributor, it hit number one on the iTunes hip-hop charts. Joining us now, the artist behind that song, Topher and the Marine Rapper. What's going on, guys? This Yo, is what's up? congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, Benny. Yeah, it's, it's been amazing, man. You know, uh, not only to create a great song, but when they try to counsel us, we fight back even harder. And we was able to bring along a remix this time. And we went from one song being at the top of the charts to two songs being at the top of the charts. That's that's about as incredible as the Marine rapper's jacket. I, I <laughs> we, we have to pause the show. Where did you get that jacket? <laughs> it was a gift. Uh, yeah, I don't give away my secrets. It's like my secret sauce. Come on, man. For real. <laughs> Tell me about the Patriot. Tell me about this song and this wild roller coaster ride that you guys have been on. Because it's like, go down, right? You get banned, you get censored, and then, nope, I'm uncancelable, right to the moon. Yeah, so the, the song I did started from uh, my trip to D.C. on December 12th. Um, I was out uh, with Bryson Gray and Forgiato Blow, and we was having a great time, you know, just a bunch of Trump supporters, conservatives, I'm um, just, you know, exercising our First Amendment right. And when I got home, I realized, you know, I'm an artist, but what they weren't playing much of my music. So I said, hey, I got to create some music for the movement, you know, create an anthem. And I ran across this video on TikTok. It went super viral. And I and I reached out to her. I said, hey, can I sample this? She said, sure. And I reached out to my, my man, Killer Vic, who's also a Marine veteran. And he said, hey, man, I, I got this awesome track. I did what you wanted to. Uh, check it out. When he sent me that, I said, man, this song is going to be it. And I sent it to the most patriotic person I know, the Marine rap. <laughs> All right. Are, are, are you both veterans? Yes. I'm six-year active duty Air Force veteran. When I was in, I, did crypt, I was a cryptologic language analyst, and I worked for NSA Joint Task Force. Um, and I was in the Marine Corps for 10 years with uh, infantry battalions in Iraq and Afghanistan. Well, I mean, guys, without further ado, we have to play a little bit of this. Can we play a little bit of the song for our audience? This is for yep. the sisters working hard on the ship. Yep. This is for the brothers getting y'all Dr. Red Father. Yeah, taking y'all on the ship. Yep. Baby, tell me why it's off a of deep patriot. Let's, let's hear, I mean, uh, the music video, you have to check the whole thing out. There's only so much time in the show. We'd play the whole thing back to back to back if we could. But tell us, what is it like creating culture? This is creation of new culture that is inspiring, obviously, millions and hitting the top of the chart. It's it's been a it's been a ride, you know. Men, um, you know, Tim have been on this thing for three, four years now, so we we understand what it's like to not have you know big corporations backing you and to be kind of you know working in the underground. But now we've created something that has reached a mainstream success, and that's because we stayed authentic to ourselves. And just not letting anybody tell us what we're going to talk about and how we're going to talk about it. And that's one of those things that we appreciate about America is we do have that privilege to do so. That's right. So important right now. Speak to a young artist, a young musician out there who hasn't been discovered, who might love their country like you do. Maybe they're a veteran as well. What is your, what is your message to them? How do you inspire them? Our message to young artists would be never give up and never back down. Uh, we've never changed our message once. We've always been legit. We've always stuck to the script. We've always stuck to our own story and stuck in our own lane. You can go back years and listen to our music, and it's always the same. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> but, yeah, you can just stick to the script and just never back down. Uh, quickly, quickly here, guys, what is it about your background? We have about 30 seconds left. What is it about your background in, as veterans in the military that inspire your art today? Is when you fight for your freedoms, you learn just how valuable they are. Mm. And you know that, you know, if someone has spilled blood for your right to exercise them, you should not let them go so easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's just, um, I serve with a whole bunch of just really good professional military people. And I feel like those people who passed away along the journey, um, I owe that to them to keep on with the legacy through the music. So I have to do it. Could we potentially 
could we potentially get the Benny Report branded American flag jackets like you have? I mean, could, could I beg you? Do I have to beg right now, live on air? You, you, don't, you don't have to beg, but we can set up a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Keep creating, guys. You're an inspiration. You're an inspiration. Follow them on social media. Like their song. Download it. Support creators. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.